Hey everyone, this is Pram bringing you round seven of the Virginia Regionals. On our left, we have Stefan DeShazo, and on our right, we have John Bistow. So we see uh, Stefan going first, and he opens with Tornadus and Mewtwo, and that could really be anything. But we do see a level ball and a Sky Arrow Bridge, so I'm thinking maybe Electric. Uh, well, you know, John has a uh, Emolga start, so that could be a you know a couple only a couple of decks really play that uh, electric um, and really Empoleon. Those are pretty much the only two decks that really play the Emolga. Um, it's not really seen in Blastoise decks, and those are pretty much all these setup decks in the format. Maybe a Garbodor deck, but we'll see what uh, John ends up playing. So we do see a switch into a uh, Tynemo. And he does have a Sky Arrow Bridge, but he's just using that switch just to have the bigger Bianca count. Um, he's really looking for a DCE, maybe get that turn 160, even maybe a DCE plus power for the one uh, first turn knockout. But, uh, uh, you know, I don't really know if he has that or not. He does drop another Tynemo down, which uh, this is a pretty good turn one, even if uh, Stefan hits energy or not. But he does get the DCE, and that's going to be pretty good. Turn one... Uh, blow through is really good doing 60 damage uh and yeah so Stefan opened up with a really good turn one and it's, we don't even know what John's playing yet you know he could be using anything really um so let's see what he has he has an ultra ball I, um not sure what else DCE so that's still pretty much any deck uh discards a catcher and looks like Bianca so still don't know what he's playing and um yeah, this is going to be come down to what that Oh, I just saw an electric. So this is a electric mirror match. Um, you know, this is going to come down to... Oh, this is a really interesting matchup. Um, you know, both players are running the DCE variant. So that means that they don't... They are not running Rayquaza. Uh, they opted for, you know, the big Mewtwo's, Tornadus's, maybe some Bufalants. And this is a nice uh, variant of the uh, deck, kind of an old, a very old school feel to it. And you know, even though uh, Stefan opened up with the Tornadus, he's gonna, you know, um, John does have a Emolga, so he will be able to get some Tynemos out uh, and really get in there for some a really nice setup. Uh, however, you know, the lack of Rayquaza. Um, I'm not sure how much the setup matters um, outside of, like, say, two electrics. That's really the uh, one of the upsides to this variant. You really only need maybe, like, two electrics out. Whereas the Rayquaza build, you know, you want to go for, like, maybe three. About three electrics is where you want to be with that one, because you, you kind of want a constant stream of Dragon Burst for 180. Whereas this is just kind of like... Hey, all my guys attack for three energies. I just kind of want three energies on my field. And, you know, everything will be uh, peachy. So, like, we do see... I think he has an energy, but he already attached to the Bufalant. I'm not sure how much I like that. I, I might have wanted to see it go on the Emolga. I mean, granted, the DCEs are pretty important, but so is getting uh, Tynemos out in play. That's pretty big. And we'll see if that ends up uh, mattering. So he's going to have a pretty... Stefan's going to have a pretty easy prize here. He gets an electric out. And he's dropping some Mewtwo's just saying, Hey, I know where this game's going. Uh, it's going to be Mewtwo versus Mewtwo. And hopefully my Mewtwo's win. So we'll see what happens. Uh, he does get an Ultra Ball here. Let's see. Maybe going for the Tynemo. I kind of like that pick. Uh... You know, there's no, there's no real need for the second electric, but he opts for it. Um, he's just making it a little harder for them. His guys get knocked out. You know, now that I think about it, uh, you know, with these variants of the deck, uh, nothing really knocks out electric very easily. Uh, it's kind of difficult to do 100 damage to a non-EX unless you run Zekrom. And I don't think any of these players are running, like, the old, super old school Thunderuses with plus powers and all that. So... Uh, I think it's gonna, I think, yeah, I, I like that move. Um, 
So he also dynamoters onto the uh, other Mewtwo. So he's just kind of, you know, distributing his energies, just kind of making it pretty hard for John to really get anything going. Um, John does have a uh, Pokemon Center in his hand, which could be pretty helpful uh, against other decks like Darkrai. Actually, just Darkrai. Uh, so that's what it's in there for. It's not going to do too much in this matchup. and actually might hurt him, so he's just going to get rid of it. He really wants the Sky Arrow, and uh, yeah, he just he uh, if he had Tynamos in play, I think he would have been maybe in a decent shape. But we'll see if he can get them in play now. He does have ooh, looks like he Junipered into two of them, or is that a Mol? Uh, that's an Amolga and a Tynamo. Um, so he gets uh, oh, he ends up getting two of them out any anyways. So good on him. I you know since he does run the Amolgas, I almost. Maybe would have liked to see the Pokemon Center just come down. Then again, you know, the Tornadoes could just retreat and then heal up twice. And then uh, it really just depends how many Buffalons he would play. So this is... Yeah, this could go... I actually, you know, the more I think about it, you know, you really don't need Pokemon Center. I mean, it would be nice to get rid of uh, Stefan's free retreating with Tornadus, But uh, at the end of the day, it's not really a big deal. Uh, you know, because all his other guys have one to retreat, um, and yeah, that's it's fine. So he doesn't have a catcher, and he's going for the Mewtwo here. He kind of recognizes this. This is a uh, you know an EX battle, and if I can take out your guys, um, then it, you know, actually, I would have liked to save maybe save the catcher. Uh, Attack with the tornado, attack the tornadoes, because you know it's gonna hit, hit the bench anyways, and you know he has to have three energies on Mewtwo to knock you out. So he's gonna go down the. So Stefan would have went down to four here. If you can maybe respond with your own um, Mewtwo for one of them, then like it's counter Mewtwo, and then you can have your Mewtwo. And then you can follow up for the win on the Tornadoes at the end of the game. I maybe would have liked to have seen that. Uh, that really just depends on you uh, getting another Mewtwo out, though. Which, we'll see if that happens or not. He, he really needs... A, at this point, though, he only needs to do 50 damage. So he could even get by with just Electric Ball. Um, that would be fine, too. But uh, he ends up using Bianca here. And he can do it. Um... I did see an Ultra Ball in his hand, and he has an Energy card, so he can he can do it. He can definitely Electric Ball here. Uh, if, if he Ultra Balls for the second Electric, puts two Energies onto the uh, Electric. Then again, I don't I'm not sure how many Lightning Energies he has in his discard. He might only have the one, which would be an issue. Uh, he could still go for the Mewtwo route here, though. But that would, it really just comes down to, does he have the N? You know, Stefan kind of coming out of the gate with his Mewtwo Tornadus aggression. And does John have the answer? You know, he has an Ultra Ball. He has another Catcher. He can do a couple of cool things. Um, yeah, it, it really comes down to if he runs plus power too. Like, another thing about hitting the Tornadus for 120 would have been cool is, you know, that you have that Amolga there, you attach an energy, and with a plus power, that's another 60 damage. And hey, that knocks out Tornadus. Um, and you haven't even played any X down yet. So that would have been like a very nice way to deal with it if he did have the uh, plus power. Um, but it looks like he doesn't. He didn't get it anyways, so or I don't even know if he plays it, but he did have two lightning energies in there. I, I might have little like I may have liked the scene a electric ball come in there against the Mewtwo before it can really do more damage. But he looks like he's just going to go for the Buffalon and maybe another Tynamo. I uh, don't really want to bench too many attackers. Uh, oh, he goes for the Mewtwo. Um, I'm not too sure how happy I am about this play. Uh, all it takes for uh, Stefan here. Okay, so he, he kind of reevaluates his plans and goes for the Tynamo. Um, you know, if he got that Mewtwo, that would have been really dangerous. Uh, Stefan would have just been able to go DC onto his Mewtwo, catcher, knock out your fresh Mewtwo, and then I'm um, at two prizes, you're at six, and I have Mewtwo and Tornadus on my bench. Yeah, there's no way. 
uh, you at that point you've probably just fallen way too far behind and can't really do anything from there. But uh, we'll see how this ends up. Yep, there was a catcher, and we might see. Oh, he put the DCE on the other Mewtwo, so he's just going buck wild with this guy. Uh, he, he retreats for the other Mewtwo that has four energies on it, and he's gonna X ball that guy for ninety. Uh, you know, it, it's acceptable to lose this prize. Um, it's not too bad. Uh, but the 120 damage on the other Mewtwo ended up disappearing. Uh, I don't believe there was a max potion. Yeah, there definitely wasn't a max potion. So uh, hopefully that doesn't end up mattering too much. Um, you know, they'll just kind of go, oh, where'd the da extra damage go? Hopefully. But uh, we do see another Mewtwo come into play, and that's going to be a uh, bummer for uh, John here. You know, there's just so much damage or so many Mewtwo's on the field that, you know, the, what counter is Mewtwo? Well, Mewtwo. So will John be able to pump out his Mewtwo's to knock out his opponent's Mewtwo's? Yep. So the extra, the uh, rather not the extra, but the uh, 120 damage returns back onto that Mewtwo and all is well with the world. So we do see an Ultra Ball. Uh, I, I kind of wonder what he's going to get. Maybe he'll get a uh, uh, Tynemo. Maybe he'll get a... Um, he discards an Electric. Uh, probably. I hope he gets a Tynemo. That would be a nice play. You know, just kind of... He really has all of the attackers he needs on the field. Um, there's not really much he can, much else he really needs. Uh, and yeah, so it looked like he opted to get nothing, which is fine too. He doesn't really need too much, uh, but he ends up x balling here, so takes a prize. And this is where John really needs to just come out with come out, come out guns blazing. You know, pop out a Mewtwo. Um, Go to one. Uh, oh, if he has a oh that Raikou, that's a Raikou. That's a really big card uh, for John here. You know, if he can uh, volt bolt the benched Mewtwo, that would be very big. And then maybe switch into a Molga next turn. Switch into a Molga, catch up the Tornadus, volt bolt it again. Um, that would be another two prizes. And then you know the uh, Raikou goes down. You know, uh, Stefan would be at one, John would be at two, and then Mewtwo finishes up. So there is a path of victory here for John. However, he is down two electrics. You know, he's discarded one. Uh, one just got knocked out. Uh, there's a bunch of, you know, he kind of he's kind of grasping here. Uh, as long as one of his electrics are not prized, he's in fairly decent shape to maybe still win this game you know it's really going to come down to end but you know it can still happen uh which is the important part uh you know electric mirror is really about going after the other players electrics up to a certain point and uh that point's kind of been reached with uh mewtwo's being so powered up you really just have to go after mewtwo's at this point uh really just go for the prizes and just kind of Maybe just go buck wild with them, but he really needs to end here. That would be huge. He's going for a catcher on the Mewtwo, so he's going to go in for that Mewtwo. He's he's saying, okay, I'm going to use my one prize here. I'm going to go for the, uh, with my Bouffalon. I really need to hit that electric right now. Do I hit it? And yes, he does. So that's going to be really big here. Uh, that Get that Bouffalon knock out that Mewtwo um, so Mew, what's gonna happen here is Mewtwo is gonna come up knock out the Bouffalant however John can't respond with his own Mewtwo what's gonna happen uh, so what's he's gonna what he's gonna have to do here is then use another catcher on the Tornado CX so how many catchers has he used two I believe it's just two so far so he's gonna have to go after the other, uh, go after the Tornado CX with the uh, Raikou, and then really just try and go for it. Uh, if he can get the second Electric online, that would be huge. However, I don't believe he had it, so 
yeah, we're just going to see a gold breaker here. Um, and yeah, we're just going to see gold breaker here to take two prizes. And this really has to be a electric off these two prizes that or super rod. He really needs one or the other. Um, I don't know if he plays super rod. So, you know, so it, it's weird. Some decks don't. Uh, I don't, I'm not really sure why you wouldn't play it in electric deck, especially with Landorus running around, but we'll see who knows. Um, so we do see a, Ooh, he even had a spurt of gem. Uh, it wouldn't have done anything in this, in this scenario, but, uh, interesting. Um, so Stefan's deck is, uh, or Stefan's deck, uh, is really, a really just a big tornado stack. Tornado's Mewtwo with like, Hey, I have some energy acceleration with electrics, um, which is fine, you know. So he's powering up his Mewtwo's. He's in. He's he's going crazy with it. Uh, unfortunately, uh, John doesn't have a response to this, and then just scoops up his cards. So that's it. Stefan DeShazo wins his round seven match, going uh, seven zero, and we'll see you guys in round eight.